Picture this, you've identified a trading pattern that works, but executing it manually means staring at screens all day, waiting for the perfect moment. What if your computer could watch the markets for you and place trades the instant your conditions are met? That's exactly what you can do with APIs. And today, I'll show you exactly how to set up Kite Connect APIs so you can start building your own automated trading system. Most trading platforms give you everything you need for trading. Charts, order placement and portfolio tracking. They're designed to handle the majority of what traders do day to day. But some traders want more flexibility. They may want to test custom strategies, automate order execution based on specific signals or apply their own risk management rules. Some might want to run back tests to see how a strategy would have worked in the past or set up systems to place trades automatically when certain conditions are met. All of what I said is possible using APIs, short for Application Programming Interfaces. APIs are like a remote control for your trading account. Instead of using the interface manually, you send instructions through code, check prices, place an order, or fetch your PNL, all with simple commands. They give you access to the same backend systems that power your trading platform, but with much more flexibility. You can build tools tailored to how you trade, automate routine actions, and react to market signals faster than manual trading ever could. Kite Connect is Zerodha's set of APIs that lets you access our entire trading infrastructure programmatically. Whether you want to automate trades based on your strategy, stream live market data into your own dashboard, or manage multiple systems from one place, Kite Connect gives you the tools to build your own trading setup exactly the way you want it. Let me walk you through the registration process. Visit kite.trade, click on Get API Key, Enter your basic information like email address, name, password, phone number, and state of residence. Accept the terms and conditions and click sign up. Once your account is set up, click create new app to generate your API key and API secret. This is where you'll choose what type of access you need. First, personal APIs. The personal option is designed for individual traders who want to automate their own account without needing market data. Think of it as giving you programmatic access to everything you can already see in your Zerodha account. With personal APIs, you can place and modify orders through code, check your holdings and positions, and review your trade history, all automatically. It's perfect if you want to build a custom dashboard or create simple automation rules for your own trading. The key limitation here is that you won't get historical chart data or live market quotes. It's purely about account management and order placement. And it's completely free. Kite Connect API is the full featured option for serious algo traders and developers. Kite Connect APIs give you everything personal APIs offer plus complete access to market data. You get historical chart data for backtesting, live market quotes, and real-time data streaming through WebSockets. This is what you need if you're building sophisticated trading systems, running quantitative strategies, or developing platforms that require comprehensive market data. Kite Connect APIs cost 500 rupees per month, reflecting the additional infrastructure and data access they provide. Kite Publisher is a specialized option for websites, blogs, or platforms that want to embed Zerodha trading functionality. If you're running a financial website and want visitors to be able to place trades directly through Zerodha without leaving your site, Kite Publisher APIs handle that integration. After selecting your API type, you'll need to configure several important settings. Enter a name for your application and add your Zerodha client ID. You can also choose an icon that will represent your app. This is crucial for the authentication process. The redirect URL is where Zerodha sends users after they log in successfully. If you're developing locally or testing your application, you might use something like this. For a live web application, it would look something like this. The key point here is precision. The URL you enter in these settings must match exactly what your application expects or the login process will fail. The postback URL is for receiving real-time updates about order events, executions, cancellations, rejections. 
For example, you might use a URL that looks something like this. This is optional. If you don't need real-time webhooks for order updates, you can leave this blank and check order status through regular APIs instead. After filling in your app description and clicking create, you'll receive two critical pieces of information. Your API key acts as a unique identifier for your application. Think of it like a username that tells Zerola which app is making requests. And your API secret is essentially the password for your application. You'll use this along with your API key during the authentication process to generate access tokens. Store both of these securely. You'll need them every time your application connects to Zerodha systems. Once you have your API credentials, you're ready to start building. The Kite Connect documentation provides detailed examples in multiple programming languages, from Python and Node.js to PHP and Java. Whether you're automating a simple buy and hold strategy or building a complex multi-strategy trading system, you now have direct access to the same infrastructure that powers millions of trades on Zerodha every day. The key is to start simple. Maybe automate one small part of your current process and gradually build up to more sophisticated systems as you get comfortable with how the APIs work. Remember, automated trading can execute strategies faster and more consistently than manual trading. But it also means your code needs to be robust and well-tested. Always start with paper trading or small position sizes until you're confident your system works as expected. If you run into issues during the setup process, please feel free to leave a comment below and we will be happy to answer them. Investments in securities market are subject to market risks. Read all the related documents carefully before investing. Brokerage will not exceed SEBI prescribed limits.